Hello again, it's Mr. 1998 The Lego Guy and today I'm reviewing these two Lego plant sets. This one that I have is the Icons Botan Tickle Collection Tiny Plants and the other I have is the Lego Super Mario Piranha Plant. But my mum thinks these are really good to go with the real plants that she likes to water them and she doesn't water the real, doesn't water the Lego ones because they won't grow. first I'm going to review is these tiny plants by icons so in this Set here had is this cactus, and they're built in these buildable plant pots along with the others. You see, it has that egg crack bottom piece we use as the flower on the cactus. I guess it's called the Eastern Prickly Pear, which came from the United States and Northeastern Mexico. I did build it out of packet number five. So out of packet number five, but I did build this doubly uh, Brittoni Britain's leave ever as a native only to Japan, California, Mexico. I guess that came from California or Mexico. They they use this barrel piece to use as the bottom of the plant pots. It has these purple leaves. And there's that blue, blue light aqua blue flower in the middle and these two pieces can be used as sprouts and these purple leaf pieces can be used as more purple sprouts it looks like a flower to me So, out of packet number six, I did build is this being cushion cactus. I 
native to Mexico and areas in the southwestern United States, the Caribbean and South America. You see it so prickly it won't hurt your fingers. You can see it had these Lego Friends flower hair accessories on it. Some magenta flowers on it. And it built in this large pot. So that's our arid plants. Next, I'm going to review some tropical plants. And out of packet number one. The bill is the Oxley's Triangulars, the Fleshman Rock, Shamrock, the Flemshram Rock, a personal plant netted to agree. Tana Bow Ipia Brazil Pogole and Pearl. So you see, I had these butter purple butterfly pieces on it. Here's the jade plants. You see they use some of the green old fashioned cat pieces can be used as these leaves. A large sculptlet natural to South Africa and Mos M B Q. Out of bag packet number two, I did build is a lace leaf, a flowering plant native to Crumbler and Ecuador. You can see there's that ladybird piece that looks different to the ones from the Lego Friends sets and other theme sets. Did you see it had these Donkey Kong's leaf pieces? And you can see they look like poppies. Up this. I like that buildable stalk. Oh, 
all. And now, Carnivorous plants. Carnivorous plants. So, out of packet number three, I've built is this Venus flytrap netted to North California and South California in the United States. And that's where they trap the flies and other insects in it. Here's red sundew native to the southeastern north United States, native to the southeastern United States. And I like the fact they use some of the hair brushes pieces to use as a sprout and it looks like a flower to me that he used the hotel manager's shoulder covers pieces and out to packet number four here are the yellow patchous yellow pinches as Yellow pincher plants native to the southeastern United States. I like the fact they use the explorer camps to use as the patching plants tops with these transparent pieces inside. Well, I got these plants this Christmas. So it comes with these free instruction booklets that it came with the information of these plants. That's the designer of these of the plants. Theo Bonner, the Lego model designer who made these plants. Tropical plants. I just read while I'm doing my review. And some of these two other types of plants that I did read while I'm doing my review. Next, I'm going to review is this Lego Super Mario Piranha Plant. <coughs> Excuse me, I just sneezed. So, here is the... <coughs> Excuse me, I just sneezed again. So, here is the Piranha Plant. <coughs> Excuse me, I just sneezed again. Thwiced. These plants always makes me sneeze. So it, so it had, so it, he's red with white spots on it. The mouth 
it had the mouth can be opened in this mouth it had this as tongue and some teeth pieces to use as the teeth that he's you know about he totally looks like Andre too from the little shop of horrors and it had these leaf buildable leaves will look like hollies and he came out out of this big green buildable pipe that looks like a plant pot so I can remove bit from the plant pot so you can place Mario, Luigi or Pinch in it while they're popping out to start their, while they're starting their calls. It is not an interactive set. Not a expansion set that there's no sign of the action stickers to interact with Mario, Luigi or Peach. As I lift the plant bottle, if I push that, push the thing at the back of the plant, you can see there's a secret compartment that opens up at the bottom. And out, and out of the secret compartment, it comes with these two yellow round plate pieces with coin printings on it. And it came the set that came with two coins in the set. Would be great if Mario, Luigi or Peach can hold them. So I'll just pop them back in. So he would be great to go along with these tiny plants. And this set that comes with the instruction booklet. These are perennial plants. Is snappy history throughout the years and here are the designers who made this piranha plant set and that's how you build a piranha plant So the two plant sets that came with these two brick staplers. So thanks for watching on my reviewed on these Lego plants. Tiny plants and piranha plant. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.